Sounds like a plan mm -hmm. to me, bro. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming back. We got a big show today. We got a special guest, Missing Mod. Um, I've been trying to get her on uh, for many weeks, and uh, finally she agreed after uh, pulling her teeth and twisting her arm and <laughs> getting her in the corner and uh, smacking her around a little bit, verb uh, metaphorically speaking. It, uh, you know, obviously um, I wouldn't uh, do that, but uh, no, all, all right. joking aside, uh, we finally got missing mod. We're just waiting for her to get in. I sent her the link on Twitter. Uh, hopefully she's doing well. And I hope everyone out who's watching us is doing well. Vaughn, how is your day? I'm a good. I'm all right. I, uh, I couldn't get, for whatever reason, Amazon wouldn't give me another email saying we're not going to. I don't know. I honestly, I didn't. Okay, know, I as know. well. Well, then, okay. Then, in that case, I think it's time for me to call a lawyer. And I'm not uh, gonna. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to push it. I, I don't care. I, 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 yeah, I'm never gonna buy anyone else on a, a gift Dude, on Amazon. You don't understand. Stuff. Okay, if Amazon's doing this, then that means ever eBay fucking. Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite possibly that pe maybe people are getting you stuff, but they just you don't know about it because it's blocked. It's blocked. Well, that, that's you know what my I'm saying. Point. You get what I'm saying. Yeah. If they could get Amazon to block purchases for me, stuff that I really need, I really need that comforter and those sheets. Mm. I need it for that bed back here. Okay. So. Well, I well I sent you something on Cash App. I know you did. I know you maybe did. You, maybe I, I I you know I know you need food all the time. Maybe it goes to food. Yeah, hey, yeah. look, if I, it was up to me, man. Um, I, I there's no reason why I, I couldn't send it to you. I I don't know. I, I mean, I don't get it. But that's I mean, that's my whole point. It should have it should have come and it didn't. Yeah. So well, ca well, Cash App is a little more universal anyway. I mean, you know, more a little more uh, uh, versatile for you because you can spend the money any way you want to than well, just a true. comforter. That's true. But uh, but it's probably be it's probably better to give you just the cash. So. Right, but, but, you're not about it. It, it, but, but you're not getting this. If they're blocked, mm. if I'm blocked on Amazon, then that means I'm blocked on eBay. I'm blocked on 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 Etsy, my fucking store. Mm. I'm blocked. I'm blocked. Well, we already Amazon. know they're blocking. I mean, we already know they blocked you in several different web. We we well, well YouTube definitely blocks you. Yeah, Google YouTube definitely, definitely blocks, blocks you. me. Right, right. Um, That's right. You know. So we Which I, I think Amazon uses Google stuff, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe well, yeah, could, just yeah, that into could Google. be it. There you go. Yeah. That's, that's probably it. Yeah. So oh, fuck. I, I honestly, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to keep fighting with it. It's, it's a, it's a hassle. I, I got, I got to, I got to worry about myself when it comes to Amazon because I need product. I need to be able to buy myself. I can't be locked yeah. out of the account. And then I'm right. fucked and I can't buy myself anything. It right. seems to work when I buy myself something. It seems everything works fine. But for, mm. for some damn reason, when I try to send you that damn comforter, every, the second time, it just is a sorry. And then they want to go through that whole process about, well, who are you? Where's your bill? Where's your ID? Yeah. I, I'm not, I, I don't so want to go through it again. Like so I just gave you, um, maybe in the future, I could just buy something in real life and I could just get your address and just put a shipping label on it and just ship it to you. So uh, maybe next time that's what I'll just do. Yeah, you know, I just that do it sounds, my fucking that sounds self. Right. That sounds about right. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, obviously, it, you know, it shouldn't be this bad, but you know, well, it shouldn't. It what it is, <laughs> it shouldn't. Ru I, I was a little curious about Rumble because, I, like I said the other day, I said we weren't on the big, we weren't on the front page for the past few days, but now it seems like uh, we are being seen again. I don't know. It was I, I got scared there for a second that. Um, that uh, Rumble was pulling a fast one on us, but it seems like everything's okay now. I, um, hope so. I do. I do want everyone out there who's watching us to make sure they hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and, sh and and share the link to at least one person you know, because one person will become two people, two people become four people, and then we can grow. I don't mm -hmm. want people to donate if they can. I, you know, we don't really need. Well, Vaughn could use the money, but I don't really need the money. If, if if by helping me is by sharing the video, that's the biggest thing you can do for me is share the video. Check right. out Vaughn on Odyssey. The links are up there. Yep. Odyssey.com slash at real Vaughn Helton. Yep. Uh, Odyssey wants you to put a little at symbol in there. Rumble, you don't have to worry about that. You can do rumble.com slash the name. But on mm -hmm. Odyssey, you got to put that at sign or else it won't go through the page. It won't go through. Um, right. That being said, let me check on Missing Mon. She's... She might have fell in the toilet or something. She might have been taking a shit and fell in. Let's see. 
I don't know. I'm going to try it without the curtain rods and the door handles and see if it see if it doesn't crash the game. If it doesn't crash the game, then I'll just go back to the traditional colors that I had for the curtain rods and the and the um, and the uh, door handles and say fuck it. Um, uh, it looks like some big a big brouhaha happened with uh, Trump today. It look I think he was cursing out the judge on stand. He was a uh, they made Trump t testify in court today, and he got up on mm -hmm. stage, and everyone's reporting. The fake news is reporting that Trump was just furious. I mean, he was just smacking around the judge like it was no tomorrow. And there she is. <laughs> speaking of uh, um, speaking of the devil, there she is. What's Hello. going on, Mystic Mod? How are you? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Too bad. You got your hair cut, I see. You look good. Yeah, more <laughs> like they put me on the alarm mower and just turned it on. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't so, got yeah, no clippers. You can't, you can't straighten You've up. We've been trying to get you on the podcast um, for quite a long time. I'm, I, I appreciate you finally showing up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, one well, of Trump, one of Vaughn's haters are here. Um, what do you want? Hey, loser, we're talking to you. What do you want? Who is it? Some, uh, it's uh, J uh, Jeffrey, whatever his name is. Eddie. Oh, what, Jeffrey what did you Spicoli. YouTube? Yeah. Jeffrey Spicoli. He's the one that keeps wanting his lawsuit, lawsuit where I'm going to throw yeah, his fucking lawsuit. ass in jail. Well, don't you're worry, Jeffrey. The, you're going to get it, buddy. Just relax, you want, dumb, dumb. Okay? Just relax, Jeffrey. You're going to get your lawsuit, buddy. Don't worry. Are you hurt? You All right. Let's let's re let's review what these fucks have done. They killed my mother. Well, okay. Well, killed my well, wife well, insane. Well, first they got well, my kids it's, it's taken away. Mod show today. So yeah, they need to go to they need to go to prison. That's where they need to be. It's 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 all about missing mod today. That's true. It's about it's missing true. We got special guests. So let me let me ask you this, missing mod. This is I was curious. Maybe you explained it on a previous show. But what? How did you get the name missing mod? Where does that come from, missing mod? Um. I have uh, another YouTube uh, another YouTube channel that I watch that uh, I deleted my account and I was a mod for him and he like had a panic episode and was like one of my mods is missing so I just came back with missing mod and it just happened to be the same account I use now. <laughs> I just thought it was funny, but yeah. okay, yeah, all right, I get it. Okay. Cool. So you just can't, it just kind of stuck. <laughs> I see you in the chat. Yeah, I, I typed to him. You guys just hand, laugh but... that. If you guys if just laugh get, that I stuff apologize, off. And... Mod. This is supposed to be a nice, fun show, but unfortunately, we got Riff Raff wanting to disturb the, the podcast. Um, I love trolls, so let them come. Let them come, <laughs> smack them around, give them a, yeah. kick them, kick their teeth down their throat, metaphorically speaking. Yeah. You ever notice it's kind of boring in the chat when I'm out there? Well, I'd rather have it get... be boring and, and respectful than, uh, you know, bull assholes with bullshit, you know. Yeah. But that's just me personally. Well, that's what they want. <clears throat> they want to um, get your blood pressure up. And when you react that way, that's what their goal is. I mean, what other goal would they have? Right. Rather than, you, you know, have, there is you nothing have your else. share of uh, trolls? Um, not really. I'm kind of nice to everyone, and they just—it's kind of like a um, kryptonite, you know. So you deal with them pretty well, then. You know, like, good for you. For some reason, I, mean, I'm sure I, some. Uh, I attracted like flies on shit. For some reason, I don't know why. Because you guys get really upset about it. Well, okay. So, well, sometimes I—I I mean, you know, it, it's there's a time and place for everything, right? And it's like for me. You know, I'm, I just come out here to hang out. I'm just trying to enjoy my life. And like, you know, you got disturbances that happen, you know, just imagine you're eating dinner, right? And you're out at a re mm -hmm. beautiful restaurant and you just got people uh, coming up to you and just say, you know, cars and ruck ruckus, you know, it, yeah, you, you know, be like, leave me, leave me alone. I'm just trying to have a good night on in town. That's kind of like how I feel when I do a, a show here on YouTube. It's like, look, I'm just trying to have a nice time. You know, I don't want to be accosted by trash, you know. 
So yeah, yeah, I guess I do take it a little personal. I guess it's my that's my fault for taking it personally, but and what I mean, I what's say? these guys? What do these guys got going on that they're paying so close attention to you guys? Well, we're all like the time. So no... You see, they have no lives, you're right? Yeah, they so have... they watch us like Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, right? You know, like a housewife that just stays home and watches soap operas all day. This is we're like their soap opera for these people. Yeah, you, know. you get what I'm saying? Yeah. This yeah. is their form of entertainment. I'm like, you know, Jack from Days of Our Lives. You know, oh, what is Jack is 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 in a relationship with who now? Oh, um, Betsy. I thought she. I thought he was with Jennifer this week. Oh, this is how. Let me tune in to Vaughn this week. Oh, what's Vaughn doing now? Oh, he's eating a Reese's today. What's John doing today? Oh, John's got a new haircut today. Oh, you know that that's their <laughs> that's their entertainment. Like you know. They, it's actually pretty sad because I'm, I'm, I'm no one special, you know. And they were, they literally worship me, you know. Well, I think you're special. Oh, I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. You, you got to finish the punch punchline. You got to say, "I special Ed." You got to say, "I think you're special." No, special Ed. No, <laughs> you no. know I wouldn't say that. Oh uh, no, I think you guys are awesome, and I always say I that. Appreciate that. You, I mean, you guys are hilarious. I know the first time I ever seen you on Brett show, John, you cracked me up. Yeah. Was that? Was is, I cracking so, you up? Yeah. Yes. I was laughing so hard. I was wanting you to come back. <laughs> I, I, I do enjoy going to Brett's show. I do enjoy Brett's podcast, but, uh, it, you know, Brett, I'm, I consider my friend, I consider myself friends with Brett. But, it, it, you know, Brett, you know, one day he likes you, one day he doesn't like you, you know, it's. It's like it's hard to know when I'm on Brett's good side. So, yes, I, uh, I agree there. I go through the same been thing there, with right? probably the same it. Yeah. And then Vaughn, the first time I ever met Vaughn, um, me and him spoke on, um, what was it? Skype? Skype? Was it Skype? I know he doesn't remember, but. Um, yeah, I just asked him a bunch of questions and he answered me and was, I, I mean, all of his answers were super smart. So I'm always like, I don't understand what the troll is, you know. The troll and is the to flutter, destroy I love every, that. every, the, the troll is to destroy every facet of my life, finances, family, friends, you name it. Yeah. Anything they can destroy. Yeah, see, that's when it goes they, too far. Well, that's why I, that's why these people are not trolls. These people are, are domestic terrorists. OK, my my wife was in an insane asylum for two years because of these sick fucks. All right. You know, my mother is wow. dead because of these sick fucks. My children are in a covid infected county because of these sick fucks. That's not trolling. That's domestic terrorism. They purposely set out to destroy my family, my finances and my life. And they got and they got some some family members to come down from Ohio. That, now them. that does I do agree with that. That goes beyond trolling. That is terrorism. That is terrorism. I mean, okay, take a look. Okay, take a look. What's go, take a look at what's going on in the in the outside chat. We got someone pretending to be Sola Marshall, and he and, and and a fake troll that's pretending to be Sola Marshall says, "Vaughn, John is isolating and isolating you and controlling your communications. If you can read this, get out now. He's gonna kill you, Vaughn." Vaughn, get out of there now. John is dangerous. <laughs> right? this is, John is practicing uh, takia. Ta takia. I don't even know how to even say that every single day. You know, so takia, takia is, is, is when is you pretend Muslim. to be something you're not, right? And Islam, takia, is, to be takia is Muslim for uh, for uh, uh, um, uh, lying. That's, that's right. You can you can, you can Islam, lie to deceive someone for God. Yeah. Right. Under under Islam, you're allowed to lie to to uh, infidels. You're allowed to lie. It's called takia. And uh, that so he, so that that so now that I would agree with that. That in the comment section is just trolling, right? He's just right. It, that's it's it's just silliness, right? Right. Now what other people do, you know, like calling the FBI on Vaughn and, 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 you know, CPS, squatting him, CPS and calling, out 12 you know, fucking times harassing his wife. Life. That, that goes beyond, yep. you know, it's domestic terrorism in a way. That's it right. is, it is literally domestic terrorism. domestic terrorism. Yeah, it literally you is. Know, which I, I yeah. feel bad for you. Like, you know, for someone that has, that's why I stick by you. Like Vaughn, I known you for quite a long time. Now we didn't really, now I've known you for all the way back to stick cam days. Like, I don't know if anyone remembers stick cam. There used to be an NWO UFO room on Stickham. 
it used to be, for those who don't know, StickCam was like a Google Hangouts type of thing where you log into different rooms and you can have any as many people typing, but you can have eight boxes on the screen and chit chat. And Vaughn started this room called NWO UFO. I used to go there sometimes and it was fun, but you had a lot of animals in there too. And eventually you had people take over the room and actually kicked Vaughn out of his own room. Yep. Now, Vaughn and I only really started talking about, I don't know, um, I don't know, what would you say, five years, four about years five ago, years, five yeah, years ago? It's not that like long. That. Yeah, something like but, that. Um, yeah, like we, we kind of got together with Brett. Like when Vaughn yep. used to start coming to Nadia's room, Vaughn yep. used to start going to Brett's room. And then I'm, of course, I'm in Nadia's room and I'm in Brett's room. And then we broke away and then we started doing our own thing, you know. And so I, I, I you know, I don't I don't see bad a, about you, Vaughn. That's why I, I, I consider you a friend. It's like I, I don't see what people say. You know, I never seen you abuse your kids. I never seen you say anything bad to your wife, abuse your wife. No, I've never seen you abuse your your mother. As a matter of fact, you do good to your mother. You well, you did do. You know, you had. Well, here's the thing. Okay, to... now, granted, me and mom did have a rocky road there for a while because I thought she hated me. But right. come to find out, it was that thing down the road there that was manipulating her mind and turning her against her own son. And and yeah, the one saving grace out of the whole thing is that just before she died, she told me that she really did love me. You know, once she was out of his mental control, she was able to tell me that she really did love me. That well, that's good. And uh, so I did get that at least. But um, how is Mel? At least you got to know that your mother loved you at the end. That's yeah. that's a positive. Yeah, you know. they're saying how is Mouse? Mouse is Mouse. What do you think happened to Mouse? Her hair falling out, teeth falling out. She's morbidly obese. Her body's full of infection. She has five mental conditions. Um, she's probably not long for this earth. So how is Mouse? She's destroyed. She was a beautiful, skinny girl, little pagan girl with big eyes and big dreams who was going to go to college. She, they, You know, the University of Kentucky opened up a branch right here in Manchester. And I told her, I said, the gods will help us. And they opened up a branch for University of Kentucky right here in Manchester so she wouldn't have to drive all the way to Lexington. And she was so excited about that because she wanted to go to college. She wanted to get a degree. And uh, trolls totally destroyed that. They totally destroyed that. And uh, destroyed her did, entire life, destroyed her future, destroyed everything. She was only 25 at the time, too. She had her whole life ahead of her. That's why these Man, people are terrorists. These people are not trolls. They're <laughs> terrorists. They're terrorists. They're not trolls. Yeah. They need to be destroyed. I would agree with that. They, they need to be destroyed. Yeah. Well, Ultimately, well, you know, I've done some bad stuff, too, that I probably deserve a, a couple of destroys myself. <laughs> You know, yeah, well, not, not saying I've not, done anything like that. I've never destroyed nothing to that life, degree. But. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, nothing to that degree. I'm sure because that's that. You know, obviously that. Well, goes I, you vague, know, it's you good know. that you have the mental faculties to understand that you have, you know, done wrong in the past. You know, these people actually are delusional to think yeah. that they're righteous in what they're doing. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Like they, yeah. there, there are these people that go after Vaughn because they think like it's you know justice or like, yeah they like believe the, they're justified in their actions they really yeah. do they believe it's perfectly okay to slander liable defame someone they they believe it's perfectly because of who okay Vaughn, just because of Vaughn, Vaughn Vaughn mental is. institution yeah. they think it's perfectly okay well, to call cps out to steal your they, kids. they have what i call vds uh von De, uh, derangement syndrome you, know, you have tds syndrome. you have trump derangement <laughs> syndrome these people have von De, derangement syndrome i mean these people every facet of their life is about von yeah, the and last like, thing, a, the last yeah. thing you ever want to do is call the government on anybody because the government yeah. don't give a shit. They'll destroy your entire fucking life. They don't care. The government does not care about you. All you are well, to the, the government, government is a fucking feelings. number, huh? Well, um, you need that number, Vaughn, because that's how you're held accountable, and others are held accountable for if you break the law. Well, my yeah. mom is calling me. I'll be right back. You know, I can't. I can't pass up a phone call, with mom. I'll be right, right back. Right. Right. Oh, well, the that's thing so of it good. is, here's son. the thing, okay, um, you know, I, I understand what you're saying there, but the thing of it is, is that, you know, the, the government isn't supposed to be controlling here in the United States. They're not supposed to be able to just willy-nilly take your kids away. Oh, Vaughn didn't do his dishes today. We're going to take his kids away. Oh, my God, there's a spot of mustard on a blouse, on the kid's blouse. We're going to take the kids today. 
Okay, no, it, it doesn't, it's not supposed to work that way. You're supposed to have a serious yeah. reason to remove those kids, such as death, dismemberment, um, you know, torture, whatever. You know, you, well, Von, well, well, Von didn't I do mean, his he, dishes today, so we're going to take his kids away for, for, for months on end? And bullshit. That's not that's not legit. Yeah, it reason. definitely um damages it damages the kids um it does. mental um absolutely yeah, I agree absolutely. there. Um but you know that's absolutely. how high the standard is for how you treat a human being, you know. They want to mm -hmm. make sure that that they are um very well taken care of. And yeah. I understand that sometimes they don't know, you know, they don't have feelings. All they know is what they see and hear and you know, I don't know. I don't know what the charges or what the um, allegations were. And I'm sure you probably don't want to go into that. But um, that's what me and you originally spoke about, because I, I said that I could probably help you. Right. Um, but, you know, I wasn't, you know, I don't even remember what our conversation um, <laughs> I was asking well, questions nice, about magic. So I just kind of forgot about everything else. <laughs> well, the thing, the nice thing about it is, is that since the frost meddled in the in in the court by paying people to go in there and lie. There is a slim chance that maybe I can get the kids back and the the uh, foster parents that adopted them can be reimbursed. And I and, and you know, I want to make it clear. I want to make sure the foster parents are reimbursed with interest, um, you know, for the time, you know, that that they, you know, that they were involved. Uh, but, you know, my kids need to be with their father. You know, I need to get my inheritance back and I need to get, um, you know, my kids back and uh, I do those two things. Everything will be fine, but it's, it's getting those two things. It's, it's the problem. That's the problem. But uh, hopefully, yeah. hopefully we can get that done, get it handled. Yeah. It's, it's easy to take down, but it's not uh, as easy to, to bring it back, you know, <laughs> That's and, right. and this guy Kung, Kung Fu Panda, it seems like it's the same guy, but he's <laughs> just went literally instantly and made another account. Yeah. Maybe, as the, the solar marshal guy backwards. Probably. It's like, see, now that right there should should tell you that it's there is nothing to be upset about. Let them say whatever they want to, right? Because if a guy is sitting there watching you with nothing better to do than to go and make another account just to say something mean to hurt your feelings, I mean, they need to check themselves at the door, you know? Right. There's something wrong. Oh, um, yeah. Every one no of these fuckers are basket like cases. that. <laughs> Yeah, they're ever one basket yeah. case. I mean, think about it. 20 years of your life on some old guy in Kentucky that's never done anything to you? Why? Why? No, that's insanity. Well, Vaughn, There's something wrong with Vaughn, you. Vaughn, you have to admit that most of this is your fault, too, because you could just shut that, that internet off. I know it's hard to do, and I wouldn't want to do it either, but you know that could have saved you a lot of problems, too. It's just shutting well, see, it off. The thing of it is, though, uh, if if everybody did that though, then the internet would be nothing but under the control of terrorists and trolls. You're right. No, and, and no, I understand that. Look, I'm, make, I couldn't do it that easy either. The key is to make the terrorists and the trolls go bye bye, not the good people. Okay, we want the good people to stay on the internet and the terrorists and trolls to go bye bye. All right, and 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 it, I, I'll tell you who ultimately is fault it is because it is ultimately their fault, and that is Congress. Uh, when we started getting real internet for the first time, the World Wide Web, etc., when it started coming into being, the Congress should have held an emergency meeting and said, okay, we need, we need thoughtful internet legislation about how we're going to conduct ourselves as American citizens, what rights we would have, you know, and, and they didn't do that. They didn't do that. They should have done it, but they didn't do it. And that, well, see, is, that of, ultimately is their problem. To... Uh, it's kind of hard to govern. Are all govern three the kids event. with the same foster parents? Yes, Krista, they are. They are. Oh, awesome! That's good. Yeah, at least they're together. That is one good thing. That is one yeah. good thing. Yeah, because usually, uh, they usually split CPS the boys and breaks girls them up. up. Well, usually, yeah. break, usually yep. CPS breaks them up and scatters them to the four winds. Yeah, so, uh, that's yeah, to was... that's to avoid um, any kind of, uh, you know, because they're, they ob obviously will be responsible if something happens to them, like sexually or something, right. you know, so like they usually split them up to where a girl goes to somewhere there's only girls, you know, right. not saying that same stuff doesn't happen there, but it's less likely, right? So I understand that, too. I mean, they are trying to do um, what's right. And, you know, <laughs> no, no, I no, understand no, 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 all no, of it, no, no, though. No. They're not doing what's right. 
I'm a model citizen. I'm, I'm not a criminal. I've done nothing wrong. They're trying I haven't to harmed do my kids. What's right. My kids were not locked in a cellar or burned with cigarettes or beaten to death. That's when you take kids away is when they're being physically harmed. I understand. Harmed. You know, I understand that, but you know, everybody's physical. see. That's why. That's why everybody needs to hunt down these Von Hilton haters and beat the shit out of them for what they've done to my kids, yeah, if not, for no other reason. They deserve that. That's not possible. It see, is. That's possible. why a lot of people on on the internet. That's why a lot of people on the internet use black magic. I think because you can't reach out and touch somebody. You know, just in real life. I mean, you can, but it's a lot more challenging you, to go to yeah. find someone. You know. You'd be amazed how many people I used to visit years ago when the internet first come to being. I actually made house calls. I actually went and visited. It's like, holy shit, Von Helden's at my front door. <laughs> I'd be there. Hi, how you yeah. doing? I've done it. That's cool. I've done it. So, I mean, you know, now, yeah, of course, this... those people weren't trolls or haters. They were, you know, they were good people. And I was just there to, you know, to chill out. But. You know, but yeah. yeah, you'd be amazed. It's not, it's really, you know, there's a guy on YouTube called Monograph. He can find your information in two seconds. Literally. He can literally yeah. find your information. I don't know how he does it, but oh, he does I can, it. I can find it. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that, actually. And he, he, buddy, he, he can have your docs in two seconds. And, and, um, you know, but now he, I, I, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, um, you know, he 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 was able to get the docs of, of some of these clowns. But see, at the moment, I didn't have no money, so I couldn't get an attorney. And I, you know, I go into court by myself and they got an attorney. I'm screwed. So, you know, I couldn't there was nothing I could do. And, um, you know, now if Monograph had given me an attorney and the money, then I could have went and did something and put them behind bars where they belong. But. I didn't have no money. See, that, that the goal has always been to deprive me of money. That's why they got rid of my kids, because, see, my boy's special needs. He was bringing in 700 bucks a month. And then my wife, you know, yeah. she was she was bringing in money, and my mom had money. So, I mean, you know, so we had to get rid of those people and leave me destitute so that I wouldn't have no money, because if I ain't got no money, I can't go to court and fight these fuckers, see? That was the whole point. Yeah. And it worked, unfortunately. Well, well, to have someone arrested, you don't need money. All you need is an injustice, right? Like if yeah, they well, are doing something illegal, that's what gets them arrested. So you can't go in and convince the judge to arrest someone. It, it has to be, um, you know, there has to be some kind of injustice that breaks the law, right? Well, see, that's that's the trick. These These trolls have learned to use the local government down here to utterly and completely destroy every facet of my, fa of my life. And unfortunately, yeah. it's one hundred percent legal. Sadly, and nobody's gonna nobody's gonna own up to it that they got used by a bunch of a bunch of trolls on the internet. They're not gonna admit to that. So there we well, are. Let me tell you, these people that are calling the cops and that are swatting people, and all of those records are backed up. And one day, um, they will be punished for what they're doing. It may not come, you know, when everybody wants it to, and when they feel like, you know, oh, we need to get them back. It's going to happen because that you do not abuse the system for fun. I knew a kid in, in high school that called prank called the cops and they arrested him. I mm -hmm. mean, he went to jail. So you cannot mess around with the system for for fun and to troll someone on the Internet. And eventually they'll get their hands or, you know, they'll be able to figure out how to manage this. Because, I mean, how do you how do you manage the Internet? You know, like you mm -hmm. have to, it has to be about feelings. Oh, I, I hurt someone's feelings on the internet. So go arrest them. It's like, you know, how are they going to deal with it? I just don't know. Right. But see, they're really affecting people in real life when they're calling and, and doxing people and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's evil and mm -hmm. it'll, it'll get found out in due time. Well, I, I, I would love to believe that, but Clay County is well aware of these people and has done nothing. The FBI is well aware of these people and has done nothing. Scotland Yard is well aware of these people and has done nothing. Uh, Interpol is well aware of these people and has done nothing. The CIA is well aware of these people and has done nothing. And you know why I know? Because I was one to call them. I called every one of them. I said, listen, these people have destroyed my life. They destroyed other people's lives. They did. There's this there's this video out there right now. I don't know if you've seen it. There's this guy called Cyrax. Now, granted, Cyrax is a little touched. He's not, you know, he's he's you know, he's he's not all there. But uh, but they they go out. These trolls go out of their way to harass him. 
And uh, there's a video out there where, where somebody actually comes to Cyrax's house and almost kills him. Okay, so, you know, this has gone way, way too far. And, and, yeah. and I've almost died several times. My children almost Didn't they died. squat you my, a few times, too? They, they tried to squat you, too, didn't they? Yeah, they tried to swat me, yeah. And they tried to swat yeah, him, they too. they love the live stream swats. Yeah, they're going to have to like, and so the know, local figure that out. The, and the local government is well aware they're not going to do shit. Because like I said, yeah. they're not going to own up to the fact that they got played by a bunch of trolls on the internet. They're never going to admit that. That's a big it. thing that I don't know why look, they don't fix that. I mean, that goes on for so – that goes on all the time, the swatting. And it just doesn't seem like that they're fixing that anytime soon. It's like they no, don't care. They're not going to fix it. These counties, these we'll state, see. local police, they just – they get they just take in these fake calls – Oh, the the husband got a gun. He's gonna kill all the wife. You're gonna kill the wife and the kids. And they go in, and it's like fake. It's like yeah, don't don't you fake. vet these calls? Don't you fucking check these? Well, see, that's calls? the irony, John. See, that's that's supposed to be a felony. They're supposed to follow up on that call, call yeah, and arrest call that person and throw them in federal yeah. prison, but they don't. Yeah, that well, is see, an they're trying to figure felony. it out. The, this this uh, it's not a person, right? Like the government is a system of rules that we live by. And yeah. the people that are there, like the police and the local governments and stuff, they're there to enforce it, basically to like manage it, I guess. Right. Right. Well, know, to make sure to that the other paycheck. people they follow. They, they're indifferent. They well, know. they deserve a paycheck. They deserve, they deserve a paycheck, one. They work they hard. Do their job, think too. about think about America and how well it's run. I mean, we are um, we don't know anything about suffering here. We do in our personal lives, like with personal things, but. As far as like that, we're able to think about stuff like that and overthink things and get depressed about things because we literally don't do, you know, we, it, it used to be where you were out farming all day and you had to go outside and, you know, work hard and mm -hmm. it's like we're spoiled. Yeah. Well, and, um, it, it, that, that doesn't mean, government. well, just because our system isn't like Uganda or, or Ethiopia doesn't mean that uh, our problems aren't sufficient or real. I mean, you oh, know, real. that's just because of our, our, we have to thank our ancestors for having the fortitude to have a, a stern, you know, com, a constitution. And they were able to fight through the weather, the elements and survive the hardcore, you know, nature of, of, of life. And, and I, I'm not going to sit here and say that I could do it. I don't know. I don't know if I could I can wake up every morning and go hunting for my food and then come home and then chop wood and, and you know, uh, plow the fields and do all that stuff and then grind the weed into making the flour. That's hard. Yeah, you're right. It is tough. And it is mm -hmm. something that we got to be thankful for that our forefathers were able to do that. But that being said, yeah, now, you oh, know, sorry. it doesn't, it doesn't mean that, you know, that we, we have to live in, in, in a tyrannical system. There, there are a lot of problems that we go through and you maybe maybe it's not physical problems like i would i would say um you know reckless spending of the government is a problem that it raises the inflation of our you know devalues our currency and and causes inflation where now now everything costs is 20 30% more now that might not be physical violence to our person or labor to our person but it's still suffering you know we we hurt because of it you know we feel pain because of it you know people go hungry i was just reading a news article that people are cutting back meals like you know families are not only only eating once or twice a day now because of the the problem with the, with the food prices so we feel it in just different ways you know we're yes we are a first world country but doesn't that doesn't mean that our problems aren't real and i don't i don't oh, yeah. you know what i mean i'm just you know that's my thought on that I believe um, they're they're definitely real. I do believe that, but I think that, uh, yeah, I I see because I don't like it when when it's like we blame it on America, you know, like it's some like it's a, a a dictator, you know, it's like all the tax money goes back into the system, right? Like it doesn't go into some guy's pocket, you know, and it's just crazy to me because people like to compare, you know, they kind of act like you know America is is run like that. And it's, you know, like Alex Jones programming is what I've been calling it. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. I well, they definitely, I, I always thought there should be a, a more transparency. I, th I think, I think there should be a website 
where you can see where, and I, and I mean this, some people are going to be probably freaked out by what I'm going to say, but there should be a website where it shows every time someone pays a tax. John paid a tax today. He paid $1,000 in tax, and the website shows $1,000 tax, and then it shows Bob $1,000 tax. Everyone in America had tax money, right? Then there should be another page on the same website where it says, okay, the government spend ten, you know, $100 million to Ukraine, $20 billion to Israel, $20 billion to this guy, $20 billion to that guy. And, you, and we should be able to see no, I mean, complete transparency. I don't want to hear this, well, we can't disclose the, you know, $40 trillion that we had to give to the CIA because, you know, we can't really disclose that information. No, 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 no. I want to know who's getting the money, who's not getting the money. And it really should be that way. We should have tr complete transparency and people should be able to vote and be like, hey, wait a minute. It says here that, that Bob got $20 million in a bailout. He should. Why is she getting a bailout? And and people should be held accountable for what they do and, and why Congress is spending money and where it's going and who's getting what and why. There should there should be more of that. I mean, it, it's hidden in, in in darkness. No one knows what anyone's doing. You John, know, it and, is, and it's sad. It is, it, it's really sad that, that that no one knows what anyone's doing in government. Hey, and I'm John, sure there are good people in government. I, it, I'm sure not, there's a good a couple of good people out there. You know, I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, everyone's bad. But I've never met a I never I went to the post office the other day. And even, you know, a government service like mail, you would think, OK, you write a letter, you know, because I did something that I never did. You know, I've never had a pen pal before. And I found an address to an old buddy of mine. I was like, you know what? I'm going to write him a letter. Right, so I wrote him a letter, oh, and I went to the I went to the mill, I went to the post office to buy stamps, and boy, what a hassle it is just to buy stamps and to mail a letter. It's like, you, you, you know, it's like, it's what happened well, to customer service? You know, whatever happened to you, you know, me, polite? If, yeah. If well, you go stop ahead. What for a second, say? I and let me let me um, because you're getting to like several points, and I want to be able to say that um. The government works I exactly want, I want to say like on the record. I don't want you, you to feel like I'm debating you. I'm just spewing a bunch of shit off the top no. of my head. I have no idea what no, I'm no, saying. No. I, I just want to tell you. I just want to respond because I want you to relax a little bit. Like, it's it's awesome. America's awesome. Yeah, I need and to relax. We are I do. to be here. You do. And, uh, yeah, so they do work that way. That's why there's declassified. You know, you've heard of declassified documents and stuff. I mean... Um, everything, every single penny that uh, is spent is is documented and why and where it's going. And um, yeah. And then. Um, yeah, it's just awesome. And well, I mean, I yes, remember. technically, you're right. It is documented, obviously, because they have to you know, show a paper trail, but it's not easily accessible to the average Joe. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's, it, it it's a lot, you have to you, you got to do voyeur requests and you have to do. You know, you know, you have to sue and you have to get lawyers and you have to do all, there's a lot of things. I, I'm that, I'm saying government should should work. That's and it for should classified. Be Say that again. Yeah. I said that's for classified yeah. documents. You know, to, yeah, to, I'm just I, what I'm saying. It, it should be it should be easier. It shouldn't be as complicated. Government shouldn't be complicated. Government doesn't need to be complicated. You know, what? what yeah. why does it have to be complicated? You know, it, just because it's government is that is, that's like circular. Isn't that circular reasoning? It's complicated because it's a government. The government is complicated. That's just circular reasoning, right? So, I, I'm just saying. You know, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just I'm just running my mouth at this point. But that's good. I I, 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 I do like, like America. I mean, I'm not. A, I don't hate America. I mean, I don't. I don't think there could be a better system. To be honest with you, I think America is. There like, isn't. It was a great experiment. The founding fathers did something that they, was never done before, and they gave us a great republic. And obviously, republics have been done before, but the concept that the government was the people, and that the people are in control, and not like a like a entity within its uh, 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 you know other than itself, like because 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 you really would have worked like for thousands of years is you had a dictator or or an emperor or a king. 
or a queen, and and then they rule over the people and they give the dictation of the laws, right? Where we kind of flipped that. We said, no, the people sort of dictate the rules for the government, which is something no one has ever done. I mean, now they do it because they want to be like us. And you're never going to yeah. get a better system. You're never going to get anything no. better than that, you know? And it, it's such no. a shame that people don't realize that. And the younger people you want, don't you realize want my that. Theory? Yeah, I see all these young kids and they're screaming communism on the top of their lungs. You really want communism? I mean, uh, I don't know. Well, my theory is um, the dollar bill has in God we trust on it. That's my theory. I know that's not everybody. That's not the, you know, I, you know what I think, John, but um, yeah, I think that uh, we protect Israel and the Lord has blessed us for doing that. And um, that's why there, the, no other country will ever figure it out because that's all it is. And I'm serious because you, th you think it just, uh, just the fact that we keep God's commandments and the fact that it, because it says in Genesis, Beresh, she said, those the nation the goyim who bless Israel, God will bless those nations in return. Is this as simple yeah. as that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. It really is. That's why no no amount of spies will ever will ever figure it out. They can send whoever mm -hmm. they want. But Obama got in. You know, he's uh, I think he's a terrorist, and he um, legalized gay marriage in every state. And I have nothing. Uh, um, I am not. It, this isn't you know, my rules, right? I have no problem with anybody wanting to do whatever they want, right? So I'm just giving you my theory is um, when he did that, it cursed America. And yeah. it makes sense because the Sodom, it, of the Sodom and Gomorrah story. And I heard somebody say um, that if he doesn't punish us, then he owes them an apology, Sodom and Gomorrah. Which, you know, hey, I could be totally wrong. I don't know. But right. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, I mean, it may sound unjust that God will sort of, because of one person's sin, that everyone kind of gets punished for it. But, I mean, that's kind of just how it works. I mean, it, sometimes uh, sometimes well, you get you a mustard stain and a nice clean white shirt, and, the, and the, the, you can't, no matter how much... Shout! You spray on it. No matter how many times you wash it in hot water, you just can't get the stain out. And the only result is you got to throw the shirt in the trash. You know, it, it's it sounds kind of bleak. It sounds kind of hateful, but that's just you know the way it is. Um, hey, and, John. You know, um, I know. Yeah, I, go ahead. Hey, I have a. I have a. Um, the solution to any stain. It can. It can take any stain. Yeah, I out know of what you're gonna shirt. say. Yeah, I know what the answer is. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Uh, Yashka Yimakshmo. What? You, 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 Jesus, the J guy. No scissors. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, I, you were being okay. I thought you were gonna take the answer seriously. Okay, never mind. <laughs> scissors take the stain out of scissors. <laughs> I get any you. stain out of any shirt. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, but the problem is you got a big old hole in the shirt. Yeah. Hey, but think no, about it. You thought about that funny. before I did, so you know that's probably right. <laughs> or you just know me. You know, what I've I'm never saying. been crazy enough to think about taking scissors to a stain, but you know, I am, <laughs> I, no, I'm crazy Aww. in different ways, I guess. <laughs> but um yeah no just a joke i don't yeah, really yeah yeah that. that's good <laughs> you got you got me on that because i was thinking okay she's gonna she's gonna give me a but that's good <laughs> you just when i thought something else you come in and swoop in from the other side i like it <laughs> sorry about that no, that's just okay, how no, i am I, I... and it's ken hoven's joke anyway oh whose joke is it kent hoven Oh, Ken Hoven came up with that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if he yeah, came no, up no, with it. But you're, I know you're a um, you're a big Ken Hoven fan. Yeah, and, I'm a big uh, you um, like him. Ken him. How, how is he doing? Um, I guess he's okay. He'll always be happy, no matter where he's at. So sure. Yeah. You know. Hey, are him and are him and Brett getting along again? 
um, I don't think Kent even knows, realizes who Brett is, but that's just because he doesn't, he doesn't have a great memory, so. And then Brett, I don't know, there's no telling. I, I What's going on with him? What happened to his channel? You know what, you know what, um, he's, uh, YouTube got rid of, uh, you know, YouTube promoted, you know, monetized him, and then all of a sudden he was, uh, um, someone false flagged him. And knock the channel down so he can't live stream or monetize his videos. So Aww. I hate that. Yeah, that's him. what people do. I mean, people ruin people's lives and they deliberately did that. I mean, there was no reason to to Brett Brett kind of tiny, you know, Brett has mellowed out. You know, I've known Brett through um the same way I met Vaughn through Stick Camp, and he was rough. You know, Brett used to be really hardcore when he was an atheist. He used to let mm -hmm. let loose, but now that he's a Christian, he kind of mellowed out. So I I don't I can't I can't possibly imagine him violating community guidelines. So yeah. they, you know, but that's what people do they they falsely report you and just to knock your channel down and it's a shame they go by it you know and they, and then you, re, you say you, you put the little comment in to appeal it and then they just don't even look at it because it's, it's a robot you know you're not, they're not going to take the time to look at it. You know, so. I seen um who was it that did this? See, you guys would probably know, but um somebody out there got their channel taken down and they went to Twitter, had everybody go to Twitter and tweet at YouTube and they they looked they looked at the you know whoever mm. it was. I can't remember that happened to somebody that's like in the um Alex Jones umbrella, you know. Okay. But um so if you guys do that, I don't know how many people would go over there for you, but I would. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. I uh I've but. I've I've given up on YouTube. You know, I I don't um I don't get anything from YouTube other than people sending me stupid comments. So why bother? Rumble has been a little better. Rumble is a little bit more serious. I get comments from people that are, you know, normal people. So it's like I keep to Rumble. Rum, you know. I don't. I'm. I'm. Yeah. I'm too old to, to to care about trolling at this point. That's that's why I, I I take it serious because it's a waste of my time. You know, it's like that guy from the. I don't know if you've seen it. What is a woman documentary with Matt Walsh, and he's in the, interviewing that old guy, and it's like you know I, I'm just too fucking old to be putting up with this shit. You know, it's like yeah, I feel mm -hmm. I feel him. You know, it's like you know I I get it. I get how that guy is. You know, he just Straight to the point. Let's get to the subject. You know, I don't. Well, if you just so laughed at I, it, I like Rumble. If you laughed Rabbit? at it, if you laughed at the trolls and what they say, and took it like, um, you know, like Brett when Brett owned the manatee uh, thing. I mean, every time that comes up, if he was able to soften up a little bit, he's a little. Um, he takes it a little hard like you guys do you know i can see that similarity there i guess it's something that comes from that crowd that followed um the drunken peasant guys which they suck i don't know what in the world everybody liked about them it's that was like i i've went and watched reruns because i'm so curious about brett and stuff you know like especially back you know when i was first introduced to him so i was trying to figure out like who these guys are and what you know all these weird attitudes that everybody has, especially the atheist, you know, they were all big fans of that show. You know, I don't know what my first point yeah. was, but oh, I, I got to get better. Uh, about the trolls. I, I do. If you laugh about I, it, you'll be laughing all day. Yeah, I guess I guess I just don't I guess I just don't have a sense of humor anymore. I'm, I guess I became jaded. How do I fix that? Missing my what do you think I should do? Just laugh about way, it. Just start. Just laugh about it. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Brett made a shirt with a manatee with glasses on it. I mean, I love that. <laughs> you don't think that's kind of funny? I, I, think I know you don't want to, but to Brett did it. Harness the power of the trolls. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta figure that um, out. I gotta. Yeah. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta sit down one day and like really contemplate like. You know, because they say some hateful shit to me, man. You, you you should see some of the emails that I get from people, or some of the videos that people make about me. It's it it can be kind of nasty. 
So, you know, is there a way for me to sort of laugh at it and, and sort of reverse it and, and, and. Well, when I, when I read negative comments, I'm thinking about what were they thinking while they were writing this? I'm not thinking about what they're actually saying because they don't know me, right? Like they don't even know you. Like they only know what you've shown them or, you know, showed them. I don't know if I said that right, but that's it. You just read it and think, man, I feel bad for this guy you know, and then you just play with them. That's what I do. I treat them like a, you know, like a lion would like a mouse, you know, <laughs> just play around with them. It's <laughs> then, then you don't get any. So you guys are going to be yeah. bored. <laughs> well, that's but. true. That Now I do agree with that. The, the, the more you sort of allow the trolls to feed off of your energies, Sorry, hold um, on one second. The more they will come and troll you, right? Because if you're feet, if you're if you're allowing the trolls to win, yeah, you know they're just going to multiply. But if you if you don't let them win, they'll just go away because then they not get anything from you. So I do agree with that. I do agree with that. Uh, Smokeball says, "Why did I get blocked from Streamyards?" I just wanted to ask Vaughn his advice on an investment uh, making in his area with possible upside from Steve. Well, you can ask it in the comment section. You don't have to come in here. Yep. Well, um, why would CIA and Pure Skyland have anything to do with Vaughn's online problems? Well, wouldn't you like to know that, bud? Uh, see you later. <laughs> Let me get rid of you. Uh, that would be because I'm the original birther. That's exactly why. I'm the original birther. I exposed Obama as a piece of shit. And a bunch of people didn't like it, including Obama himself. Oh, well, get over it. And you know what the beautiful part is? I got a lot of my information from Hillary Clinton and CBS News. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beautiful part about it. And the left eating the left. It's great. It's fucking awesome. Okay, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. My dog started barking. Your dog's okay. barking. Okay, we'll go see what they're doing. Hopefully you're not being well, spotted. Yeah, you know what the thing that the trolls are is <laughs> if, if they don't have anyone to, to fight with, they'll start fighting with themselves. Oh, they will. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fine. My company, so sell sell E B and B is buying the Burns property across the road from Vaughn. Is that true, Vaughn? Is, is Burns property being sold? There is no one named Burns anywhere in my location. No one. Well, wait, let's use this as an example, okay? So what is this Selly B and B? Oh, okay, so it's like a bed and breakfast. Say it fast. Sell the B and B. Is that what you're saying? Sell the B and B. Say it fast. There's a. It's 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 um, obviously some kind of um, um, duplicitous uh, thing. Um, you know that's you. You probably need to say it fast, and it probably it, it has some meaning to the trolls. I'm sure. Right, they're gonna cut the. They're yes. gonna cut you saying it and say, oh, "See, they're funny. They're saying a word." <laughs> yeah, they said our word. Hey, you know what? You, say. you know, Vaughn, you got to think about this, okay? You, just your character alone, has mm -hmm. created these side um channels to where like these guys are dedicated and have have worked. They work very hard, like. I, I've got to know the story behind the um, uh, the alien that Vaughn took a shot at channel. Do you know that one? <laughs> oh, you got to let Vaughn that tell guy. a story about that. That's actually a good story. Yeah, what yeah, it was. Um, there was a um, that my my dog. I, I was busy doing graphics work, and my 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 dog at the time was a yellow uh, lab, and he was outside, and and he started barking and. You know, the yellow lab is an intelligent dog. He, he don't bark at any old thing. He only barks at things that are serious. And so every time he barked, I took it seriously. And so he started barking profusely. Or she, I think it was actually. She started barking profusely. And it's like, oh my God, what in the hell's going on out there? And so I go outside and I'm looking around. I don't see shit. It's it's dark. It's rain. It's drizzling rain. It's not raining hard. It's just drizzling rain, just enough to be nasty, cold, wet, and nasty. And it's it's shitty out. And I I didn't see a damn thing. So I went back in. Went back to working at my graphics again. So I'm sitting there working at my graphics and I started barking again. So I look again. Still didn't see anything. It's like, damn, what in the hell? 
And like I said, the lab is the lab was a smart dog. You know, she's not going to bark at just any old thing. She's only going to bark at legitimate threats. And so I'm like, man, that's really, that's really peculiar. And um, so she barks a third time, and then I say, okay, that's it. So I get my long rifle. I got it behind my back, and I go to the door. And, you know, it's drizzling rain. And in the drizzling rain, I can see the outline of a three-foot-tall entity. I can see the outline because of the drizzling rain. And I'm like, well, that's new. And so I decided, um, you know, I decided to, uh, to, to confront this, this thing, this entity, whatever. And it, it decides that, no, we're not going to do that. And so it takes off booking up, up the mountainside. And so I aim my weapon and I take off a shot, but I don't know if I got it. It was moving so fast. It went from my backyard up the mountain in probably not even a minute. Nothing moves that fast. It just doesn't. Now, the trolls said it was some little kid in a fucking Halloween costume, which I just find fucking hilarious because I'm not aware of any small child that can afford a cloaking device. If it, you know, the Japanese at the time had just perfected the damn thing, so it couldn't have been that. But even if, even if you could have got one from the Japanese, it would have cost millions of dollars, and no little child is going to have millions of dollars to spend on a damn cloaking device. Okay, so no, it was not a small child. But see, this is how they think. This is their this is their hive mind. We got to paint Bond as a criminal. We got to give make it that anything he does, no matter how how noble, has got to be twisted into a pretzel and made to sound like a criminal act. And, and that's how they do. That's how they roll. Uh, but no, it was not a small child in a Halloween costume. And it wasn't even Halloween. So, I mean, no. Um, but yeah, I took a shot at it. Um, it was moving so <laughs> fast, so I doubt I, I doubt I hit it. But uh, but yeah, it was I was I was approached and confronted by a gray. I'm assuming you know one of little three foot fuckers. I'm assuming that's what I, I mean. It was cloaked, so I don't really know. I could just barely make out the outline in the rain. Uh, but yeah, I never seen anything move that damn fast in my life. So I had a visitation, if you will, an awkward one. And um, now I don't know if that's my encounter suited friends that I have now. I don't think so, because I imagine I would have run that thing off. But I don't know. But uh, well, see, it was uh, magic. Magic can open, um, you know, can open up. Magic uh, opens up all that? kinds of doors. Yeah. Well, you know, why yeah. do you think I'm into magic? Right. <laughs> why do you so think a lot I'm of getting people into that it? do that have see UFOs and stuff? You know, so I well, know. as a matter but of fact, that's, that's my hilarious. encounter suited friends or my encounter suited friends are hanging out. I asked the gods, I said, why, why are these guys hanging out? They said, because you got power, bro, and they're drawn to power. I'm like, oh, okay, <laughs> makes sense to me. I've never, I've never seen. Have you seen ever seen a UFO or, th or thought you might have seen a UFO? Um, I seen a dog man one time in my backyard Ooh. and uh, yeah, dog it was man. like eight foot tall and white, Holy cow. like all white. Yes. Yeah, it was really crazy and it kind of glowed, you know, <sighs> but hey, I hate to cut this short, but I got to go because I, hey, you know I, I, I was COVID. able to get you for an hour. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for having me. This was great. I want to come back again no if that's problem. okay. You mean, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute. According to the trolls, we're we're just flat out evil and just, you know, the most despicable no. people in the world. Why would you want to mm. hang out with us? You know, I mean, that's what they're going to say. No. Yeah, but I they're mean, wrong, really going to say, so. I expect your email box to be inundated. Oh, my God. You hung out with terrorists. You hung out with a mass bonds, a mass murder, and you hung out with him. What do you think you're doing? Why are you doing that? <laughs> I can just I can see, no. you know, I can see the, the, the thousands of hate mail that you get right now for hanging out with. Well, murderers are people too, anyway. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, hey, yeah. that's what I was going to say earlier when you said you didn't have um, that you've never had a pen pal, John. You know who who would love um, a letter from you is anybody in prison, any prisoner out there would love it. I mean, it would just make their whole year. I should just you know? send a random letter to some random person in prison. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll, you I'll send I Trump mean, a letter in federal federal prison. Yeah, we'll send Trump a letter. We'll send Trump a letter. <laughs> uh, when he when That's he gets funny. jailed, and he will, because Hillary, you really believe Hillary's not going to throw his ass in jail? Of course she is. He threatened her on live TV for fuck's sake. Mm-hmm. Of course she's going to throw his ass in jail. If she well, has anyway, to miss, shit up, she's going to throw his ass in jail. Day. Thank you for coming by. Yeah, I thank really you, appreciate yeah, thank the, you know, you. the hour you came came by. I I can't wait to rewatch it. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> you too. Have a good right night. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. 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 There she went. She's gone. And there Ooh. she went. Yeah. What do you want, floppy dog? What do you want, floppy dog? Yeah. Um. Someone left a comment here saying, "Sound the freedom star." Jim Caviezel, or Jesus, as America remembers him, just leaked a private video of Brock and Michelle, uh, Big Mike, because Michelle is really Big Mike with a child. Okay, let's take a look at that. I don't know if it's a, a scam. That's it's uh, That looks like a Telegram link. Is that, uh, I don't Jim, have Telegram. You have Telegram? No, I don't have Telegram. Yeah, I don't have Telegram. That's a Telegram link, I think. I don't have Telegram. I, I usually block them people. I don't have Telegram, don't want Telegram, don't need Telegram. Um, Telegram, uh, I don't really, yeah, it's not, it's, it's mostly trolls, <laughs> mostly trolls hanging out. You know, that, that would be like saying, I want to go to 4chan, you know, yeah. knowing full well it's a troll website. No, it's a troll yeah. website. Yeah. Look, look at this guy on the, on the thing here, Smokeball, he goes, we could possibly do tours and possibly sign autographs. 50 uh, 50 revenue for you, Vaughn. So, would you allow the trolls, haters, and naysayers come to your house to sign autographs, Vaughn? No, no, for money, even no. if you made money from it. Not if I'm making 50 percent. No, fuck no. Yeah, Vaughn has like, to get well, at least I give a troll half my fucking earnings. Are you fucking high? Exactly. That's that's stupid. That's idiotic. Look, look at this no guy. Way. He says, We're going to do zip lines off the ridge and renting out high powered telescopes and pro cameras with lenses. We're going to have sunset cruises at Lake Alice. I mean, this is so stupid. Do you Are you really going to have a sunset cruise at Lake Alice? I mean, Lake Alice is not even big. I mean, how can you have a cruise ship on Lake Alice? That doesn't even make any sense. I mean, Vaughn can have his own side, uh, uh, autograph signings. Why does, he need, why does he need a troll to do that? Hmm. You're the one paying the customers to go there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't buy it. I think it's a big scam, big old nothing burger. Send send Vaughn send Vaughn a couple of thousand dollars in the cash app then. Send send Vaughn a check for a couple of thousand dollars. You know, put a down payment. And then Vaughn will think about it. How's that? Put your money where your mouth is. You know what I'm saying? Pr- prove to us that you're actually serious. Prove to us that you're actually doing going to do something that's positive of Vaughn. I don't think you have Vaughn's interests at heart. I don't think you give two shits about Vaughn. Why would you pay him from nothing? You're paying for access. It's like big guy. Just like big guy got 10%. Just like Joe Biden got big guy got 10%. Well, put a down payment for Vaughn. Give him money showing that you're serious. You're not paying for nothing. You're paying for your serious. You're paying to be serious. Serious people only. We don't want trolls, haters. We want serious people, man. Give Vaughn a couple of thousand, and then we'll see. Well, you can no, 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 no. The onus isn't on us, motherfucker. It's not up that us, and it's because you're saying that now. I'm gonna now you're going bye bye because you're not fucking serious. You're a fucking troll. Hot dogs by the bond, just in the nick of time. Yay! Hot dogs by the bond. Oh yeah, there you go. No yeah, ketchup. Man. No mustard. Ketchup and mayo. Oh, ketchup and mayo. Okay. No cheese. Yeah, I'm too hungry. <laughs> I want to eat. I'm hungry. I get you. Well, if you're hungry, then you want to put more stuff on it, don't you? Don't well, you want to yeah. fill it up? Yeah. 
But you just I'm saying right. you're hungry, you just want to scoff it down. You just want to suck it down right down. Right? Mm-hmm. I get you. Mm-hmm. I get you, man. I get you, man. It's all good. It's all good, man. I got two hot dogs in there left anyway, so. Now you're making me hungry. Mm. They're good, too. So the tro- so the troll says that he wants to put a theme park on your property and he wants to rent it out and get make money. So I said to the troll, I said, Vaughn, why don't you why don't you send Vaughn some money? Send him a down payment, ten thousand dollars. Send him a check for ten thousand dollars to prove you're serious. Why am I gonna give Vaughn money? Uh, well, it's to show us that you're actually serious about a business opportunity. These people aren't serious. These people don't actually want to do business and be polite they want to just harass and aggravate us so hey doofus hey doofus whose land is it it's my land you want to do something on my land you're going to have to pay for that you understand that right that's common sense yeah these people don't have common sense Mm -mm. it was nice having missing mod on it was good even if i only got an hour with her it's fine um that being said vaughn um Let's see. Let's see what happened in the news today. I didn't even check the news. I was so happy getting Missing Mud on the show. I didn't even check the news. <laughs> uh, so they finally, uh, someone leaked the manifesto of the trans uh, shooter that shot up all those innocent people in Nashville. There was a trans uh, sexual, some, some guy in a dress pretending to be a woman, killed innocent people, nine-year-olds, like a like a couple of nine-year-olds, a couple of kids. So the manifesto leaked, which all the left are is going crazy. Why Why? Why did Elon Musk allow the, the, the manifesto to be leaked? Because he wants the truth to be out there. So the manifesto basically reads, and, and Stephen Crowder um, dropped it, and basically saying how much they want to kill uh, straight people, mm-hmm. how much they want to kill white people, how much, mm-hmm. you know, talking about how much they want to destroy America. Mm-hmm. You know, typical leftist garbage and... Mm-hmm. You know, these people don't love us. These people don't want to. Oh, I hope I don't kill anyone that's gay. I would I would feel so horrible if I go on a mass shooting spree that kills one innocent LGBT person. What a sick fuck, you, you know, to think <laughs> that way. You know, I, it's you know, it's a shame that this world is going downhill. You know, people don't have any priorities anymore. They don't have any ethics. They don't, don't have values People have literal no values no more. They don't believe in anything. That's well, a no, shame. I'll tell you, we have we have another story out there about another shooter. <clears throat> but somehow, I don't know how, he was a Latino. And somehow he was able to break his programming and he took his own life. And before he took his own life, he just scribbled, I am I am not a killer. And he scribbled it. I don't know if he scribbled it on the wall or on a piece of paper. But um, he said, I am not a killer. And he took his own life. Instead of killing a whole shitload of people. Because he was, he, was, he, was, he was programmed to kill. And somehow he resisted the programming and, um, and took his own life instead. So that they couldn't use him uh, to kill a whole shitload of innocent people. So that motherfucker is a hero. And uh, there's no question about it. He's an absolute hero, and he deserves a a a hero's uh, uh, post posthumous award. If I was president, I would give him one uh, because he resisted the programming and uh, took his own life instead. But he was supposed uh, supposedly his he was supposed to shoot up a school or shoot up um, a business or something, and instead he scrawled on the wall or on a piece of paper that. Um, you know who he was supposed to kill and everything, and he and then at the bottom he said, "I am not a killer," and took his own life. So that wow, man is a so fucking sorry. hero. He's awesome, and uh, you know for fighting. I mean, you know, you gotta understand fighting programming like that, folks. Yeah, it's not easy. That's not easy to do. I can't imagine. And and uh, and the fact that he did is situation. just fucking phenomenal. But yeah, he was a Latino man, and. um and uh, he was able to 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 defeat the uh, the the mind control and oh. and took his own life instead. But he was supposed to shoot up like a school or a business or something. It was, you know, it was all out there. All the, the information was out there, and he I guess he wrote it on the wall too or something. But 
but it was all out there. Yeah, he was going to shoot up a, 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 a lot of people, kill a lot of people. Uh, and he wrote on there, down at the bottom, he wrote, I am not a killer, and he took his own life. So kudos to that man, wherever he may be. Hopefully he is in Summerfields um, because he deserves to be there. He's a hero. He didn't take a bunch of innocent people's lives. And uh, so kudos to him for resisting the, the mind control. Yeah. How did you learn about that story? They were talking about it over on True Social. I wish I could remember his name. But yeah, he's a fucking hero, man. No doubt I just want to say uh, Solar Marshall sent me a message saying that every time he leaves a message on YouTube, it's not being seen. Well, he's saying that I blocked him or I'm, I'm not allowing his comments. No, dude. I just I, I I took a screenshot of every every chat every post on this live stream uh, for the past uh, hour, and there's literally nothing showing up that you left a comment here. We got only trolls that are showing up, and you sent the screenshot of you typing a message, and I don't see that message that you're typing. So Solar, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. YouTube is 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 fucking with us. It's mm -hmm. not me. It's not Vaughn. It, that's, mm -hmm. that's totally on YouTube side, brother. I'm looking at YouTube. You. I'm looking at the YouTube comments. There ain't no comments from you in there. Yeah, there. I, I don't. I don't see anything on my end. If Vaughn's saying he's not seeing anything not on his there. end, mm -mm. so YouTube is block. Is, YouTube is somewhat somewhat blocking. Uh, well, it's a uh, Google algorithm. And I went, and then you're gonna say, "Well, you're gonna check your go check your block list and see if I'm blocked." I did check my block list, and I did check to see if I have any mods. I, I have there's there's nothing going on about uh, blocked or anything. I, I I have no idea why or or what's what the fuck is going on. Um, that is fucked up. I don't I don't know what to say. Well, that may not even be that may not even be Solar Marshall. That may be a fucking troll under Solar's account. No, no, no. Solar Marshall contacted me on Facebook. His his actual Facebook account. Oh, did he? And he's saying he he's showing me screenshots of his him trying to message me, and I don't see it. I don't well, show me nothing. a screenshot of, of the message actually in there, and let's see that. You know. he, yeah, he did. It says he, all he wrote was he hi. Okay. He wrote hello. Oh. And I checked. I checked my uh, thing. I said maybe I have a word block that seems, but I don't have any words blocked that would stop you from from. Speaking. Not hello. Why would we block the word hello? I well, maybe I fucked up in something. So I just want to double check. So okay, you never know. You fuck up. You fuck up. Anyway, the world is fucked up, and um, you know the world is going to hell in a handbasket. And, and look at the peace we got for four years. And look, it's like a switch got thrown with O Biden. And now we're living on the edge of World War Three. We are marching our way into World War Three by the day. And I'm genuinely worried. I mean, some of these people, corrupt politicians in both parties stand to make money as we march our way into war. I mean, Biden's version of this is simple. His son was paid $5 million by Burisma to sit on their board, a guy who has no qualifications to work at a local gas station or a fast food chain, let alone to sit on the board of an energy company abroad. And yet this is a guy who has made $5 million or, or more for all we know, but at least $5 million from doing it. Do you think it's an accident that they're now sending hundreds of billions of dollars of our taxpayer money to fund a war with that same country? Now, people will say, are you some sort of sympathizer with Russia or Putin? Forget that. I wouldn't trust Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin is no, he's a craven dictator. There's no doubt about it. But just because Putin is bad does not mean that Ukraine is good. 
And I think that that's the trap that they've lulled the American people into accepting, forgetting the fact that Ukraine is a country that has banned 11 opposition parties. It has consolidated all of its media into one state TV media arm. You know, interesting, there's a discussion to have in America. And now they're course, openly but. saying outright ban the Orthodox Church that, 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 totally. that, that, that predates even Russian culture, the oldest institution in Ukraine. It's anti-Christian, fundamentally. And so the irony is, you think about Christian engagement in other parts of the world, look at Ukraine that's hostile to Christians in its own country. By the way, it says it won't hold its elections this year unless the U.S. forks over more money. And the regions that are occupied in eastern Ukraine, they are Russian-speaking regions, right? These are regions that the majority of people who live there don't even view themselves as part of Ukraine, and also regions that haven't been represented in the Ukrainian parliament for the better part of a decade. Well, that's so, right, Vivek. We got to go to break. Stay right there. Okay. Really honored to have you. Amazing. And I want to get more into how do we stop World War III, but I want to also just get into Israel and, and Hamas and 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 then uh, just the, the, this mass shooting in Maine and just the, it seems like it doesn't seem like it's happened. Things are burning down. The, the inflation, all of it. Vivek Ramaswamy is our guest. All right. He is the number two. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, what what else can we say about that? I, I did, uh, Trump said no. Vladimir Zelensky offered to uh, have Trump come to Ukraine. Uh, Trump told him to go fuck, flush his head down the toilet, which is a good answer. Um, you know, please, I want war to end. I don't want this. I, I'm scared, man. I don't want war to happen. I mean, the more and more that goes on with Ukraine, it's more and more likely we're going to jump in. Israel and Gaza, more and more likely we're going to jump into that. Taiwan might be attacked by China. I mean, it's just it's just like, I don't want to I wake up and hear nasty stories like this, man. Well, and as far like, as I know, as far as I yeah, know, we're up? not going to have a World War III. That I doesn't hope mean, not, though, that man. We can't have smaller wars and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I guess I'd rather have small wars, but I rather, I mean, at the end of the day, I'd rather have no war. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, if I got a choice, I don't want any war. Yeah. But um, um, but I don't I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, you know, we need better people in charge of our politics, our government. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Yep, we do. We do indeed. Do that indeed. being said, I think we did a good show today. I'm yeah, I appreciate the guests. Hopefully, we can get more people on. I've been begging people to come on in and and uh, more new guests. And if you do know someone that wants to come in, send them a link. Tell them to come join us. We do this every day around four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. um, well, more like five o'clock. Um, yeah. I'm gonna get going, Vaughn. I'm gonna hold off. Uh, I, I a new game of mine just dropped. Well, DLC dropped. You know, the Europa Euro uh, game that I like to play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A new update that uh, finally came out today. I want to play it. I want to check it out. So give me about an hour or so, mm -hmm. and then me and you just do some killing in uh, Wildlands. We're doing good, man. I, I think we're doing a hell of a job in, in Wildlands. Well, we still got over 10 people to kill yet. So oh, my God. Still got a long we killed like five people yesterday. Yeah, still got a long um, way to go. So if anyone has Steam or Wildlands, please add us. We'd love to have you as a third. Uh, it's got to gotta be on Steam, though. We can't, you know, it doesn't cross-pollinate. So you got to be on yeah. Steam. But if you have Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands and you're on Steam, consider joining us. Um, you know, we usually play in the evenings. And consider joining us uh, on the game, and uh, we'd love to have you. Um, I checked the slots, and there's like eight slots. <laughs> eight slots. So um, plenty of room 